What's going on all the swag fans? Uh, TNA back on the swag channel. And uh, today I'm going to be doing a video. It's going to be about uh, wrestling. I'm going to be doing a wrestling talk. Uh, multiple topics, you know. I was thinking about this. Um, of doing a video. So, yeah. So, today I'm going to talk about the um, the rivalry between Sin Cara and Sin Cara. Now, you know, a couple months back, you know, we got, uh, like, a luchador, you know, a couple months back in WWE, we had a luchador, you know, his name was Sin Cara. Um, he had blue attire, you know, he, he looked pretty cool, and to be honest with you, I was a fan of him, you know, but then we saw another Sin Cara, and his attire was black, and yeah, you know what I mean? So now there's two Sin Caras in WWE, one Sin Cara Negro, <laughs> And, and if you don't know what Negro means in Spanish, it means black, like the color black. No, no, I'm not trying to be racist or anything, but I'm just saying it's like the color black. Um, so yeah, you got Sin Cara Negro <clears throat> and Sin Cara Blue, I guess. Um, and really, you know, I I think, you know, this rivalry could go pretty far and pretty good when it comes to storyline. I mean, yeah, you know, they're, they are going to have a match, I do believe, on SmackDown. It's like mask versus mask. But I don't think the match is going to even end or start. If you know what I mean. I mean, you know, there is probably going to be a winner, but it's probably going to be by disqualification. So they're going to have to do, like, a rematch, let's just say. So I'm not hoping, you know, to to uh, see a match taken off this week, you know. Um, I just don't believe seeing that, you know. Um, and to be honest with you, I like this storyline. It's pretty good. I mean, you got both scene cars in here. And this rivalry has been going on long before they both of them even came in the WWE. You know, they, they, you know, they kept this rivalry through Mexico and, you know, the, uh, the luchador wrestling. Um, yeah, that's that. And now I want to talk about the Cruiserweight title. Now, a lot of people are, are, are saying, yeah, you know, how come they haven't brought back, like, the Cruiserweight Championship, you know? D WWE, you know, they have a lot of great wrestlers that are lightweight. You know, you got Evan Bourne, um, you got both St. Carlos in there, you got, uh, you could say Daniel Bryan and Kofi Kingston. Um, I mean, you got a lot of good high flyers in the uh, in the women's and the men's division. But um, the reason why I don't think WWE is gonna um, you know bring it back, it's just cause you know that uh, maybe that you know I, I think the reason why they're not gonna bring it back cause they don't feel like they have that much wrestlers in 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 lightweight to uh, to perform matches for the title. I mean, yeah, you know, you got Evan Bourne, you know, you got the same cards like I said before. But really, if you honestly think about it, they're not really going to have that many matches, you know, if you know what I'm saying cuz most of the wrestlers, you know, they say that they weigh, you know, 200 something, 215, 230, you know, they weigh that like that. You know, in light heavyweight, I think you're supposed to be like one something, like 145 or 130. And, you know, mostly all the wrestlers in the WWE are close to 250 to 240 to 230 besides the women. You know, I mean, yeah, you know, you see a couple of, you know, girls that weigh, you know, 300 or 200, you know. But that's not the point. You know, the point is that I don't think WWE is going to bring the uh, the Cruiserweight Championship just because I don't think they're going to make money off of it. And just because, well, no, everyone wants to see, you know, the Cruiserweight Championship back. But if you think about it. WWE already has the World Championship, they have the Heavyweight Championship, the Intercontinental, uh, US, um, the Tag Team, what else? I think that's it, right? But if you think about it, US title, you really don't need. I mean, that's really unnecessary, you know? So in my case, you would actually swap the US title for the Cruiserweight title or even the Hardcore title. But and the reason why they're not bringing back the Hardcore title is because we're in this era we're, we're rated PG and, and 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 that means that kids are watching wrestling they love wrestling and 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 when I mean kids I mean like you know uh, ten years old nine years old like to me I'm still a kid you know I'm thirteen but you know but like kids that are like eight nine ten you know seven they like wrestling and they probably like John Cena or Randy Orton or you know Evan Bourne or Kofi Kingston you know. WWE is not going to bring back the Hardcore Championship until WWE goes PG-13. Because without that, if you honestly think about it, if they put matches for the Hardcore Championship, it's not going to be that good as you used to see Hardcore matches back then. I mean, we're probably not going to see any blood. We're not going to see any tables or ladders or chairs. And we're even lucky that we even see such as pay-per-views, Hell in a Cell, 
or TLC, table ladders and chairs, or extreme rules. We're lucky that, you know, we still have those matches. And be thankful that you still have those matches in WWE. Because in my opinion, I think PG is ruining WWE, you know. But just be glad that, you know, you still have, you know, Hell in a Cell, table ladders and chairs. Just be glad, you know. And they, they're just not going to, you know... They're not going to want to, you know, bring back those type of titles just because those are in the past. And if you think about it, when they did have the Hardcore Championship, you know, a lot of good, you know, uh, wrestlers were, were on that, you know. And back then, ECW was still around, you know. And I still figure and I still think that ECW should have been here longer, you know. ECW was okay. It was only an hour show. But it still fitted me. It was okay, you know. But you really didn't see any Hardcore matches on ECW, but um, it, it was okay, you know. That's basically it about this video. I just wanted to get that off my mind because I know it was a topic. Um, I know I've been lagging on those swag videos, but I'm trying, you know, every week. I'm going to start doing one every week, so you guys just bear with me, you know. I'm going to leave a link to my channel and a link to my last video that I put on the swag. So, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Tina and Dina, you guys have a wonderful day.